Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Vice President Harris cannot run from her record with black men in the state of California. No matter how much she, the, the media tried to whitewash the American people, she has a record as um, prosecutor there in the state of California, which she's touting that she's going to prosecute the case against D Donald Trump. Well, let's see how she prosecuted the case against, quote unquote, the real black people, because she ain't black. She is biracial. She is she is Jamaican and Indian. And when she got elected as United States senator, she proclaimed that she was an Indian. I said that on my previous video, and I stand by that statement. She is not black. She is biracial. And I would never say a person of color. She is biracial. She is Indian and Jamaican, period. But I'm going to play a clip of this gentleman that she wrongfully convicted of murder. Send him away to prison to serve 50 years to life for murder he did not commit. And she sat in the back of the courtroom and laughed because she had got this conviction. And then the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals had to overturn this wrongful conviction of how she prosecuted this case. But let the media and the pundits say, oh, she's the greatest candidate in the world. And without further ado, I will introduce you to Mr. Jamal <clears throat> True Love. He was the man that she wrongfully convicted. In 2008, I was framed for murder and wrongfully convicted by the office of Kamala Harris, sentenced 50 to life in prison. It took me five and a half years to ultimately get back in the trial due to prosecutorial misconduct. And it took me another year to go to my second trial, to which I was vindicated by a jury of my peers. When I got convicted, Kamala Harris was in the courtroom. When I got sentenced 50 to life in prison, Kamala Harris was in the courtroom. When I looked back and I seen her, she was smiling. And she did that stupid ass laugh that she do right now. <laughs> this shit ain't funny. It ain't funny when you're wrongfully convicted. It is not funny at all. But she was also accused of slave labor, boiling all down slave labor because she was keeping inmates in low um, level nonviolent offenders in jail past their time of release in order to use them for uh, cleaning up uh, the streets. Order to reduce the population of California's overcrowded prisons, lawyers from the, the California Attorney General Kamala Harris's office made the case that some nonviolent offenders needed to stay incarcerated or else the prison system would lose a source of cheap labor. That was their argument. We don't want to release them because they are a source of cheap labor. In 2011, the Supreme Court ruled in Brown v. Plata. P-L-A-T-A, that California's prisons were so overcrowded that they violated the Constitution's prohibition of cruel and unusual punishment. Can you believe that? The quote-unquote black woman was, was keeping black people in prison longer than they were supposed to just to use them as cheap labor. We call that American slavery. But she don't want you to hear about, she don't want you to know about that. And the news won't tell you about that. But the, the, the information is there if you're willing to do your research. Lawyers for the state said California met benchmarks and argued that if certain potential parolees were given a faster track out of prison, it would negatively affect the prison's labor programs, including one that allowed certain inmates to fight California's wildfires for about $2 a day. Put their lives at risk for $2 a day to go out and fight a forest fire when they're supposed to be released from prison. Draining the prisons of minimum custody inmates would deplete the labor force both internally and in local communities where low level nonviolent offenders work for pennies on the dollar collecting trash and tending to city parks. That was they would, That is what they were used for. So Mr. True Love actually sued the state of California. He, I think he was awarded like $13 million for, for his wrongful conviction. But that's her record, and she can't run from it.
even though the media is trying to hide it, even though they're trying to squash it, even though President Biden put her in charge of, uh, even if they want to say this, she was put in charge of finding out what the root causes of immigration were. Well, she failed at that mission because she never did come up with the solution because over thir- over 10 million, if not more, illegals have flowed into our country. And you had a lot of pundits calling her a border czar. And it's on TV, it's on recordings, but yet and still they're trying to tell you now that she was never called a border czar. The same news agencies that called her a border czar are now backtracking and say, no, we never said that. Just like her record was never that horrible. But it's right there in black and white, people. You be the judge of it. If you want a candidate they installed in to be the president, then you vote for Kamala Harris. But over, I think, 12 million people or so voted for Joe Biden to continue to run for presidency of the United States. They blocked out everybody else so they couldn't run for president. So Joe Biden was coronated to be the nominee of the party. Then they pushed him out because of his cognitive decline. And now Kamala Harris is running without not one single voter out there voting for her to be the nominee of the Democratic Party. The elites, the the billionaires and millionaires who give the money to the Democratic Party pushed her, pushed him out. Along with a lot of the high uh, political leaders there in Washington, D.C., like uh, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer and Hakeem Jeffries and a lot of the uh, Democrats there in the House and the Senate. They pushed him out. They collectively got together and with, with the inclusion of Barack Obama, they all pushed him out. There are reports out there which haven't been proven, but they was going to invoke the 25th Amendment. And I guess that was enough for him to, OK, I'm going to go ahead and get out. But I'm sure he got some concessions out of it, some things that he's going to be able to do before he finally ended his term. But that's what we have, American people. We have a corrupt uh, system where the elites decide who's going to be in power and what they're going to do. And you, the American people, are going to shut up and just vote for whoever we put up there. That's the Democratic Party for you. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can like this video, hit that like button. Please share the video. If this is your first time here to the Retired Vet Show, please consider subscribing. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.